They say imitation is the highest form of flattery. Well, if that's the case, the six music YouTubers I'm going to list in today's video should feel very flattered indeed, because I've definitely felt very inspired by them. A quick disclaimer, if you happen to be a music YouTuber watching this and your channel's not on the list, please don't be offended. It doesn't mean I don't enjoy your content. It's just that I had a very specific criteria for choosing the six channels on this list. And that was that I had to at least once have knowingly borrowed some idea and used it in one or more of my videos. And it's my way of kind of saying thank you to those channels for unwittingly at least contributing to my own channel. Now, they're not in any specific order, although I am leaving my absolute favorite till last. Why? This is YouTube. I've got to give you a reason to watch to the end. So let's dive in with my first pick. Joe Gilder. If it wasn't for Joe Gilder, I probably wouldn't be a YouTuber at all. I was watching him for some years before I started doing this. And what I really love about Joe is how down to earth he is. He's pretty straightforward and he really makes you feel like he's one of us, another home studio producer. Now he doesn't do a lot in the way of sort of video production or anything like that. That's not his thing. His strength is in his content. Now I haven't specifically, I don't think, taken any ideas ideas from Joe, but I have consciously reminded myself that it's good to remain kind of a man of the people, to be the kind of person who is kind of similar to your audience. We're all just trying to figure this out, and along the way, we figure some stuff out which is worth telling other people about. So. Thanks, Joe. I'll put a link for your various channels in the description down below. Full disclosure, this gentleman is actually a personal friend of mine. His name is Chris Salim, and he has a channel called Mixed Down Online. Now, Chris's channel is somewhat focused on Cubase because he's pretty much an expert in Cubase. But regardless of that, I've definitely gotten some inspiration from him. Sometimes I've watched his Cubase tutorials and I thought, how would you do that in Cakewalk or in Studio One? And that has then given me some ideas for my own tutorials on my channel. And I also just love the way he explained things. He's got a really likable personality, both on camera and off camera as well, or else he wouldn't be my friend. So thanks, Chris. Link's in the description. Again, full disclosure, this gentleman is also a good friend of mine, but I was a really big fan of his channel before I got to know him. His name is Sanjay C. Now, if you haven't seen Sanjay's channel, a big part of what he does is he keeps us informed about some of the latest gear for our studios, software and plugins, etc. And there's a couple of things I really admire about Sanjay. Jay's content and try to steal once in a while. First of all, he's really good at keeping concise. He gets straight to the point. He doesn't have a lot of waffle and a lot of fluff, and he gives you the most important information you need to know. Something I could still really learn from, and this video might be a good example of that. But you know, we strive to improve, and that's what I see as a real strength of Sanjay. And secondly, probably a little bit underestimated, is he has some real nice videography. The shots he does of the products and things, I often get inspired by. Sometimes I try to replicate them a little bit. He's great with lighting, his audio production is really good, etc. And overall, I just really enjoy watching his channel. So thanks, Sanjay. In the mix. Now, this is one of those YouTube channels I don't necessarily hear a lot of other people talking about, but Michael over there must be doing something right with over 1 million subscribers. Now, I've been watching this channel for a number of years. It's difficult to watch a channel uh, for years if you don't basically enjoy the personality of the person on that channel. So maybe that's the first thing I like. Michael's rather understated. He's not ah, like that, you know. Um, but he does speak with authority, I feel, at times on production techniques, etc. He branches out of that sometimes, which I like. But I really like his down-to-earth tips and tricks with production. So what have I borrowed from him? Well, I can't remember exactly which videos, but there's definitely been a couple of videos I've watched of his where I've gone, I love that topic 
I'd like to tell my viewers about that. And I've tried to do my own version. He's great at picking really useful topics. So again, check out the link for In The Mix in the description down below. I find it difficult to believe that you could be a music YouTuber and not at least respect Cameron over at Venus Theory. He ticks so many boxes. Let me break it down for you. Really high production quality, really good topics to talk about, an engaging personality, great storytelling, great thumbnails, great titles. The list goes on. He ticks so many of those boxes. He's really evolved over the years. He used to be much more of a kind of production technique and perhaps review kind of channel, but he's evolved into much more sort of philosophical conversation conversations about what it means to be a musician or a music producer. I really enjoy those videos a lot and it's something that I would like to emulate. I've tried to do it here and there, not anywhere near as well as he does it, by the way. And it sort of leads me to show some recognition for the fact that sometimes you may see a YouTuber just apparently waffling on about a topic uh, for what is for you five minutes or so. But I can see with Cameron that he's really thought about his ideas, he's formulated them, he's done research as well outside of the actual production of the videos. So lots of props to Cameron over at Venus Theory. I really love this content. Now, before we go to my absolute favorite music YouTuber, I've got some honorable mentions that I just wanna run through um, quickly. First of all, Graham Cochran from The Recording Revolution. I watched that channel for years. There's not much new content on there anymore, but the back catalog is worth checking out, full of tips and tricks. And again, a real sort of home studio recording channel, which I like. Uh, next, Warren Hewitt from Produce Like a Pro. I love Warren's positive energy. He's not a guy that really gets into a lot of negativity. And look, if you wanna do negative stuff, you do, you. that's absolutely fine. I've got no criticism of that. But I also just like to keep things for my own sanity, uh, at least reasonably positive. Next, a pretty new one here, and I hope I get his name right, Colt uh, Caparoon. Um, He's, again, he's got a great energy to him, very knowledgeable about music production, a good place to get gear recommendations, and I really actually like his videography at times. It's reasonably simple, but he does it to a high quality, and, and I really like that. Uh, the next one I need to mention, because I haven't necessarily been directly um, inspired by her, but I watch her content, and I have a feeling it's gonna rub off on me. Uh, her name's Mary Spender. Um, again, just really good topic choices um, and very interesting to watch. And then finally, just on this list here, although there's so many others, in fact, I'll put a, I'll put a load of links in the description down below for loads of other YouTube channels that I watch, which I can recommend. But finally on this little list here uh, is Mixbus TV. The reason I mention Mixbus TV is because I don't like to give poor information when I'm talking um, about production. And so I like to uh, sort of fact check myself or check myself uh, before I put content out. So maybe I've been doing something for a few years, um, I've been doing it in that way and I'll think, uh, have I really been doing it in the best way? Before I tell everyone else about it, I'll do some research and Mixbus TV often comes up and I feel like his information about production is really accurate and reliable. So that's that one. So now, on to my absolute favorite music YouTuber of all time, ever, in the world, in the universe. There's a difference between very, very, very good and absolute excellence, in my opinion. I rattled off earlier some of the qualities of a good YouTube channel. This guy has them plus more in spades. Now, he's not actually a music production YouTuber. He's a guitarist and his name is Paul Davids. What do I like about him? I really dig his personality. His production at times is insane. It's really, really good in terms of videography, editing. His topics are fascinating. You know those kind of YouTubers where you're not sure you're even interested in the topic. You happen to start watching the video and he's got you from beginning to end. He gets you interested in topics you didn't know you were interested in. Um, the list goes on and on. I'm gushing. I'm a fanboy. I admit it. Uh, but interestingly enough, um, 
if I talk very directly about what I've tried at least to steal from Paul Davis, it's actually some of his videography. A part of my channel at times is I'm filming myself playing guitar and I'm not a natural videographer at all. I have to just kind of emulate other people and see how they do it. So if I want to find out some really great angles to film a guitar from and an approach with that, then usually I'll be going to a Paul David's video and looking at his absolutely beautiful videos. But it's not all about the visuals, as I say, the content, the topics, everything is top notch. So uh, thanks to Paul David, who I'm sure will probably never watch this video, but hey, it's out there. He's great. You know, I discover YouTubers who are new to me all the time. Sometimes they've even got hundreds of thousands, even millions of subscribers, and the algorithm just hasn't shown them to me. So I'm sure there's a few that you may have expected to see on this list, but they weren't there. So help me out. Let me know about them in the comments down below. Maybe your channel is one of them. Here's a good time to do some self-promotion. I'd love to check out your music production YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mike. I hope you're well and I'll see you in the next video.